Hi everyone, it's the English Summer here and welcome back to Let's Play Gone Home Part 2. So not I know a lot of you have been waiting for this. Like I've had questions on Twitter like when's the next part coming out? And sorry that I haven't I just really don't want to rush through this game. Like, um I'm kind of not remembering exactly what happened in the last in the next couple of parts of this game and yeah, I just want to take my time with it, so I'm sorry I've not had a video up of this recently. However, we are gonna hop straight in to it. Um, sorry if I mess up on the WASD keys. I've been playing Sims for the past two hours pretty much, so um, sorry if I'm not used to the keys. Let's see if there's anything here. There's a nice painting. Oh, and a pamphlet. Let's check what this says. United States Department of Agriculture, US National Forestry Manual. Okay, so as we know, her mum is in the her mum is in the forestry career, so that is why that is there. Let's see if we can open this door. We can, but it's dark once again. Of course it's dark. Let's see what's going on in here. Turn this lamp on. Open these cabinets. Okay, there doesn't seem to be much in here. There's another painting. I have no clue what that is meant to be. It looks like a keyboard up here and that's the only thing I can really work out of that. Is there anything on the bookshelves? Nope. Why is it so dark? It really scares me that it's so dark all the time. Let's check this folder. Reproductive system worksheet. It's about the menstrual cycle and it's by Sam. So yeah, if you want to read this then pause it here and pause it here. Basically I don't think it really has much um, to do, however, oh this is just a world history book and a so soda can. The storm's still raging on outside. Let's open this. This... Th th this sounds really scary. I'm not sure I'm a fan of this song. Okay, it's not too bad now that she started singing. Oh, that was loud. Is there any records? Nope. See this bottle? Distilled in Ireland, Irish whiskey. I quite, all the boys drink in Irish whiskey and I hate it. Dear Mr. Greenbrier, I write to inform you that unfortunately Mercury Books will be unable to publish your follow up to The Accidental Pariah. Despite the low sales of The Accidental Saviour, we went ahead with the publication of the second book in hopes of the in hopes of the John Russell series catching on. However, sales of the second book have in fact been lower than those of the first, and so our stewardship of the series must end here. So that is writing to tell her dad that his book isn't doing very well and they stopped publishing it. So I'm guessing that's why he's writing reviews. Um, there wasn't too much in that room. Let's check in this closet thing. Oh, here we go, there's a letter. Samantha, please give this to your mother. Janet, oh. When you live in one place your whole life, your next door neighbor is kind of like your default friend. And Daniel only got weirder over the years. So moving away has been a good excuse to, like, not see him anymore. But he did always have the good Nintendo games. Maybe I'll give him a call. Okay, so if I hadn't have accidentally clicked out of that, we would have said that the letter said, Janice, thank you for having Danny over to your new home. He has missed having his friend Samantha in the neighbourhood very much. Danny asked if he could la send Samantha his Nintendo Street Fighting tape, and I gave my permission. He needs to spend less time with these games anyway. No hurry returning it. Let Samantha know that she is welcome back to our house to visit any time. So Sam had a best friend in her old neighbourhood, however she did say that he started acting weird. 
and there's just a lot of these books everywhere. You can tell that they didn't sell very well. Let's head out of this room. There wasn't too much to find. Let's head around here. Katie, please tell mum and dad sorry about the stuff that's missing, Sam. We haven't found any missing stuff yet, I don't think. There's nothing in there. Is there anything in here? Nope. What about the bottom one? There's a note. Hi Lonnie, so if you wanted to come over to my house still this afternoon, that would be cool. I can drive. It's kind of far, but I can drive you home too, so hopefully that's fine. Write back and leave this in my locker if you still want to, and we can meet in the parking lot after six. Samantha. Yeah, I'm totally in. See you there. Then I'm gonna kick your butt. Get ready. And this, I'm guessing, is Lonnie kicking Samantha's butt. So you know what they say about the best laid plans of mice and men? Yeah, it turns out it applies to Street Fighter too. At least I worked up the courage to walk into the 7-Eleven and ask for a turn, but all that practice at home did not exactly translate in the wild. So after I was finished getting my butt kicked, I followed them outside while they smoked. And that was when she asked me if I was that psycho house girl. But then she said she's always really wanted to see the psycho house. Her name is Lonnie. She's coming over tomorrow. So there we just heard Sam talking about Lonnie and how they are starting to grow closer and Lonnie really seems to be a friend of Sam's. Katie, whatever you found, don't tell mum and dad. The attic. Well, that's a little strange. But I'm fairly sure if she didn't want this to be found, she would not have left it in a bin. That door's locked, so I guess we'll make our way back around here. I really want to know where Sam is. And this house is still creeping me out, even though I've turned on all the lights. I'm gonna shut this door. I, d I can't remember if we looked at this. However, this is their mum and their dad. And then this is Katie, who we're playing as. And this is Sam, her younger sister. So, I can't remember if we checked this door either. But we'll go and check it and see. So that's locked. So that, oops, didn't mean to do that. The only place we can go is upstairs. So how about we go up here into the darkness once again. Let's turn that lamp on. There's nothing there we can read. Nope. There's a newspaper clipping. Controlled burn scheduled for Boone County. Boone County plumes of smoke will rise above the northeastern region of Boone County over the better part of next week as part of a forestry service run controlled burn of overgrown sections of the Flintlock National Forest. Forestry crews have been preparing the area for months. The burn operation will take place bloody bloody blah, blah and the personnel involved is Janice Greenbrier. So that is in fact our mum. So she is helping out. There's a pack of cards. Cool. So yeah, our mum is helping out with the deforestation of overgrown parts. Is there a light in here? There is. Um, there's a comb. Random. Just put you down. There's a planner. What? What is that noise? I don't know if it picked it up for you guys, but it sounded like someone was trying to open a door and now I'm scared to turn around. So this is one of their mum's or dad's planners. Let's open this drawer. Notice of temporary personnel transfer. To aid in the upcoming pres prescribed burn operation, a ranger, that lightning terrified me, a ranger with expertise in the procedure is being transferred to the station at Flintlock National Forest, effective the 9th of the 2nd, 94. Please see attached personal file. Okay, so that's our mum then. She came to help out. 
that's probably why we moved so that she could help out with the burn is there anything in here there's a cassette Bratmobile potty mouth for Sam so someone made Sam a mixtape it's weird hanging out with girls Daniel was around ever since I was little and other girls I don't know but being around Lonnie is like instantly just right I gave her the grand psycho house tour and took my revenge on Super Nintendo and it was like I don't know I finally found someone I feel normal around. I drove her home and she gave me this tape and said, You have got to listen to this. I haven't stopped playing it since. So from there we can see that Lonnie and Sam are becoming to grow closer and she's not very used to hanging out with girls because she only had Daniel when she was young. So let's go in this room let's check here first read sternly written letter to whom it may concern i samantha greenbrier am 17 years old and am therefore an independent fully functional human being the fact that you still forbid me from going into the city on my own is frankly absurd compare with katie who is only three in brackets three years older than me and yet you allow her to go all the way across an ocean to another continent on her own i just want to spend an evening in a normal totally safe city on my own like a human being and since you may also remember that i have my own car now you can't really stop me warmest regards your daughter samantha so that is a strongly worded letter to her parents and here's a note Sam stop leaving every damn light in the house on you're as bad as your sister no wonder we keep the lights on have you seen how terrifying this place is and then there's some post-it notes Daniel called Daniel called again he wants his Nintendo game back so obviously Sam never gave that back to him caution radiation area keep out I'm guessing this is Sam's room so let's check what's around here oh there's nothing in the player i don't think we can open any of these ring binders <clears throat> we couldn't last time so we'll put that back we'll check the drawers though ah there's the cassette is there anything else just clothes it sounds like Oh. Oh. Okay. This is quite a good song. I'm gonna turn this TV off though. Because it's gonna really scare me. I'm actually gonna turn this off so it doesn't drown me out. So take- oh. Okay. Just fall on the floor. That's fine. There seems to be a note here. Oh, there moves for Street Fighter, I'm guessing. Adventurous the cat returns. So this is for the Nintendo game, I'm guessing. Let's check what this is. They just look like random doodles. Cannot make anything out of them. But they're cool though. Um, is there anything in this? Nope. A bug sticker. And let's open this and have a look. So there's just a bunch of games, pretty much. <clears throat> I'm guessing she never gave them back to Daniel. And there's nothing on there. Let's check in this closet, this cupboard over here. Dirty clothes, I like every teenager ever. Got your number, are you going to the dance with anyone who's got a crush on you? So this is a dating game, I'm guessing. There's a chapter. The King's Labyrinth, Chapter 2, Fraying Threads. Captain Allegra, still in her flowing skirt and sturdy jerkin, descended the living, the single shining thread into the lower cavern of the labyrinth. She and the first mate, on their own now, grew closer to their goal, the throne room of the dead and mortal king of the island. 
The first mate slid down the line onto the stone floor. She swept chalky bone dust from the front of her canvas trousers and looked up at Allegra. The silken thread, nigh unbreakable, thanks to the enchanted moths that inhabited the island, trailed behind, leading their way back to the entrance. From fur, from fur, from further into the labyrinth, a moaning began to echo. The moaning grew louder and clearer. It turned into words from some ancient language they could not understand. The king's cursed voice. The hairs on Captain Allegra's arms stood on end. She looked back at the first mate, whose eyes remained locked on the blackness of the passage for a moment too long, before noticing the captain's gaze. The first mate nodded silently ahead. Following the king's ghostly song deeper and deeper into the labyrinth, they came upon a rocky gap spilling forth otherworldly blue light. Okay, I'm going to stop reading here because this is three pages long. If you want to carry on reading, pause now. And pause now because can't be bothered with that. Sorry, guys. <laughs> there is nothing else in there. Man, Sam had this like when she was in fourth grade. It's a Hawaiian penguin. That's a cool, that's a cool ring folder. Oh, there was something under that. A book. Oh, it's, it's the Holy Bible. Let's put that down. Oh. Am I not meant to throw the whole- I don't think I'm meant to throw the Holy Bible on the floor. I'm sorry. Mitten, 1888 Dry Creek Road. 1888, not- Okay. Well, we don't live on that road anymore, I'm fairly sure, so maybe we don't have the dog or the cat anymore. And there's a plaque. Samantha, S is for special, A is for adorable, M is for merry, A is for affectionate, N is for nice, T is for thoughtful, H is for honest, A is for admirable. Congratulations if you have any of those letters in your name. Because you are one of those things. So let's put that back. I feel bad just throwing all this stuff on the floor, but you can't really do anything else with it. I spy a note. Let's throw that over there. Read note. Hi Lonnie, I wrote this in first period and left it in your locker on the way to second. It's what all the cool kids are doing, I've decided. Write me back. Also, here's an idea for something to draw. Two ca cats on a motorcycle. Hey, this is a good idea. What all the cool kids are actually doing is sending each other pages in their beepers. But we're cooler than them because guess what? They can't put this on a beeper. And she's drawn two cats on a motorcycle. Your drawing of cats was so good that I added the, a background to make it even better. Maybe I should stick to writing though. Haha, <laughs> I like it. How did you know that they were about to be abducted by aliens? I'm looking at Mr. Fish right now. I feel like he would probably have lots of cats. Also like his secret shame is he watches 90210 religiously. I'll ask him about it after class. He said he doesn't have cats, and also that he's never watched 90210, but I could see in his eyes that he was lying. <laughs> so her and Lonnie seem to be getting very close and have insiders and stuff like that. Can we get in? No we can't. And then there's just a poster. Um, is there anything down here? I don't think so. Let's check under that bed though. Let's check what this is. Samantha Greenbrier, year 11, teacher Fletcher, period 5, uh, grade C minus. Not a challenging assignment. Metal plaque for family portrait. Reasonable subject, but not complex. When I said that mum and dad should be replaced with parents' name, I did not mean just add them underneath. Acceptable levelling on edges. Show more pride in work. So we can tell that Sam's not into her studies as much as she probably should be. Is there anything else under here we can spy? I don't think so. There's a pen. And a fork. Um, let's check this brochure. So that's about a motorcycle. Oh. This is the one me and my dad are building. Wanna go for a ride when it's done. So I'm guessing either Lonnie or Sam are building that with their father. So 
So that's quite cool that they're building a motorcycle. Let's turn this lamp on and open this drawer. There's just music magazines and lip balm. There's a pillow and grab Steggy, Steli. So this is her little dinosaur toy. He's called Steggy. That's cute. I still have my toy from when I was a baby. Of course I still have it. Um, crumpled note. Good fellow high school disciplinary high school disciplinary referral to Yolanda de Soto. Wasn't the girl in the first part, the girl in the army outfit, wasn't her last name de Soto? So Mr. Benchley observed Mr. Soto wearing a t-shirt with an unacceptable image on the front, a large beer can labelled fast blue ribbon. Mr. Soto was sent to the guidance counsellor's office. Action taken by faculty. Mr. Soto was given the option to turn her shirt inside out, change into a shirt from her gym locker, or be suspended for the rest of the day. Mr. Soto chose suspension. Her father was called, but there was no answer and no answering machine. Mr. Soto must return this, return this form tomorrow, signed by her father. So this was to Lonnie. So Lonnie is, her real name is Yolanda, and I'm fairly sure Lonnie is the girl in the picture that we found downstairs. If you can't remember, go back and watch the last part. It's fairly close to the beginning. And there's a Kodasan, can, Kodasan. Let's turn on this lamp, see if we can see anything else. There's a pen, not really much else down there. Tissue box, hairbrush, sock. Oh, there's a button. The Misfits. See what else there is. Nail polish, emery board. It's fairly just, let's see what she's been reading. Emma by Jane Austen, Charles Dickens, Mark Twain. All the classics, of course. She seems to be fairly into her writing, Sam. So, Sam, I think creative writing track would be perfect for you from Mrs. Blacklock. So, this is about university, I think. So, yeah, it's Reed College. That noise really creeps me out. It sounds like someone's trying to move around. I'm scared to be in this house. If this was me, I would have run. I don't care that it's storming outside. I would have run. So she was looking at the English creative writing course. Beyond the benefits of the program itself, three students from each track will be offered a full scholarship for their first year at Reed. So she's probably a senior. There's another ring binder with nothing that I can see much in it. I'm really annoyed that we can't open them though. There's a plate and a glass and some stickers. And I think that's all for Sam's room. Yeah, I'm fairly sure. We've not got code for the thing yet. However, guys, I am going to end this part here because we've just finished looking around a room, so it's quite good to end it here. Please give this part a huge thumbs up if you liked it. Um, the support for this game means a lot. It's an independent game producer, and I think it's an amazing game, and amazing story behind it and yeah it's just I think the support that we can build on YouTube for games like this is really great and that's why I chose to do a let's play on it so thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next part bye guys